Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Yes, the U.S. market is up and it's Friday. Or oh, wait a minute, was it up because Greece got its fifth bailout? Yes, bailout number five. Hmm. When's number six coming? Somehow, is it like a parental relationship going on there or something? But bailout number five for Greece and the U.S. market's going up. Did I miss something? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. So you look more yellow in here than you do in, in person. You look more normal. Yeah. <laughs> I know, does that mean? But yellow is typically a little light. But anyway. I look like an old, <laughs> fair-skinned German, which is weird because my grandparents are both Indian. <laughs> I know. We still look German. And Obama pulls all troops from Iraq by the end of December to please the left. Well, yeah, you can understand how he said it. I, you know, I have kept my promise to my party and to the American people. He didn't say, he had to just say his party, which basically meant it was a campaign speech today. Unfortunately, the head of the Armed Forces Committee was unhappy with him and a bunch of other Democrats were unhappy because the questions were, uh, who's going to protect the Americans doing business in Iraq now, the Iraqis? <laughs> so he basically, and, and to salute the, the, basically, to show the support of our president, they fired a whole bunch of those air-to-ground missiles that he lost in Libya into the air to show how much they supported our, our president valiantly taking all the troops that are keeping the Iranians out of Iraq, out of the country. And car company gets U.S. loan and builds cars in Finland. Yeah, Fisher Automotive. They got, oh, they said it's another half a billion dollar loan thrown out the window. Well, they, well wait a minute, we have to make these loans. We have to encourage people to do things in this country. And then they said, well, let's see. All of the firms you get for solar stuff are having their panels built in China. The automotive companies are being are being built out of the country. General Electric has basically fired 20,000 more people to do its green stuff in China. And they said there was not one single loan the president has made for green anything that is working. Not one. Not one. Not one. And this and and on top of that, Fisher is basically in trouble. That, that's Fisker, right? Fisker, yeah. Who yeah. we got an invite to go see over at that? They're going to debut that. That, that uh, European-made automobile that was paid for by American money. You know, what what cars do they build in Finland anyway? Um, they, they basically build, um, they 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 have an automotive industry that builds cars for Saab, for um Oh, they build the Saab cars. Companies. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize they were in Finland. I thought, that, I thought that <clears throat> the Saab was in Sweden. No, but they build, okay, the factories are like in Finland. I mean, they're, oh. the companies are headquartered there. It's just like, they said that they went to Finland because they're just going to just going to be another car on their environmental line that the Finns are building. So they and the Finns give them a big deal for coming over there and hiring people. So they and said the factory's already there. They just build a car on the line and then walk off with five hundred million in American money. Well, somebody was smart. <laughs> Wasn't our president? <laughs> I mean, you would think if they're going to give out bailout money or money like that, that there would be some requirements attached to it. Okay, no, but it has to do with, I love doing this, how does a Democrat count to one? One. Ah. They didn't think to order, they didn't think to make, a, a, there was not a part of any agreement, that any green agreement that they signed, that anything would actually be done here. We will hire, we will add these workers. Unfortunately, there was nothing about... Oh, you know workers. what? It's a green car. They probably couldn't manufacture it in California because of the Restrictions. Oh, the, what was it? I think Barbara Boxer said they could have used those assembly lines that were in California that are not being used. They could have used assembly mm -hmm. people in Detroit. Well, we build green cars in Detroit, and then in you know, and one of the right to work. Well, we build green. We actually we would be able to build green cars if the president wasn't so anti against us. Mm -hmm. So. Oh man, 2011 Walmart cuts. <laughs> Health coverage for some employees. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Any employee working less than 25 hours a week, which is basically the majority of the people at Walmart, no longer will have health care coverage. And the people that are, are working full time are going to have to pay considerably more. And you'll never guess why they said it's going to have to be done. Why? Because they can't afford the government mandates. They would rather pay the $1,000 a person than the pay the government mandates, which means they said, well, they're not, this isn't the way it's supposed to work out. Well, what did they think these businesses were going to do? 
basically, there is no, they have already decided there isn't enough money out there to pay for the big health care programs that Obama wanted. So a government mandate isn't going to work because a single payer system only works if you have people paying into the system. And they've already passed a law that says you get fined only $1,000 if you don't get in the system. So it, it, the single payer can't work because there's no way to pay for it. Mm -hmm. And Obama administration is establishing an advisory panel to vet terror training that is comprised of people that are cited as un- Invited co-conspirators in terrorism? I know, isn't that a good one? What in the well, You world? may no longer talk about Islam as being, a, you may no longer mention the word Islam when you're talking about terrorists. And the people that are going to write the new manuals are all terrorists, isn't that oh. Okay, they said, okay, let's put it this way, they said it was another Muslim outreach by the President of the United States who is basically using Yemen to the to terrorists. He's already lost Egypt to the terrorists. And and, oh, and here's the thing, folks. If you have one of your loved ones killed by an air-to-ground missile any time in the future, you can sign up. And the President of the United States probably should sign a letter of condolence because his letting uh, Libya fall turned over 20,000 hand, uh, handheld air-to-ground missiles to terrorist organizations, of which they said this morning, we were given a 21-gun salute in air-to-ground missiles by the Iranians so that they would let Obama know, hey, guess where those missiles, those things, missiles that you can't oh, get. are you serious? Yeah. As he was making his announcement, we are pulling all the troops out of the country. They were firing handheld, our handheld missiles into the air in salute of him. 20,000 terrorists weapons in people's hands now. So, uh, like oh, I said, when no. the airplane gets shot down, Expect the President of the United States to send you a letter of condolence saying, yes, say, I, oops. Well, that's not the only oops that's going on because Gaddafi's family. Oh, there is. is there. And we actually, this should have been the headline news today, but we got a little distracted by, yeah. well, other figures. Yeah, Gaddafi's family has filed action with the United Station. United Nations saying that the mandate of the United of uh, the uh, the mandate by NATO was violated by the killing of Muammar Gaddafi. There was an order by they they would have nothing to do. The, the Gaddafi was even as Gaddafi was being killed, they were telling people we have orders that he must be brought in alive. And the only problem is they say they think the killer's weapon was an American uh, was an American made UN handgun. The only one in a bunch, and, um, and and the guy did not quite. The guy was well dressed and did not look like assault one of their uh, fighters. So you figure. I heard last night from people say, oh "God, you, he looks an awful lot like a CIA man I used to know." <laughs> uh huh. And uh, they also got, they want and they want Obama indicted for war crimes, and they're also going to the war crimes tribunal to have Obama indicted for war crimes. The, uh, the Pakistanis are going to participate in a thing because Obama keeps firing our mi his missiles into Pakistan in violation, and he's getting ready to fire missiles into, I mean, of all things, he is going to teach those Iranians a lesson. He's going to fire mi you know, drones into that country shortly. Oh. He is really desperate to get reelected when he can't lose. I mean, he's impossible. He's already won the election. Somebody, I heard him last night, you know, that. Uh, it, there's a good possibility, the rumors that are going around that he may not step down, even if he is be defeated, are actually true. I've been telling you people that, there's nothing, he cannot constitutionally be removed from office except by Congress, and if they control the Senate, they don't have to seat the Republican if he, if he wins the election. They don't have to seat him. There's and, nothing, to say, nothing that says you have to seat the president when he's elected. And Democrats upping support for protesters and making it a class warfare battles and many in the press changing sides on the issue. Yeah, they're beginning to get the idea that these people want to overthrow the whole system. When you're seeing people, uh, you know, when you're seeing people with uh, $5,000 computers, $1,000 boots, $1,500 uh, Gucci handbags, and, and, and billionaires that know them personally coming down there, uh, they're beginning to get the idea that maybe the Demo maybe the Obama administration is sort of putting all this stuff on. But here's the problem: is that what what I mean? I did hear one of the left pundits talk about it. That what the scared part about it is is that nobody is taking it seriously and it's growing. 
Mm -hmm. And they said they, they didn't take, uh, they said throughout history, they, they have never taken movements like this seriously. And this is basically, you, your archaeologists are digging in the rubble of all the countries in the world that have fell to things that were not taken seriously. Because even though these people are idiots, the people running the thing aren't. And they'll, they're like soldiers being manipulated on a battlefield. You throw as many, they're like cannon fodder. And what's going to happen is they're moving in with their people to run the operation and, you know, get the mm -hmm. problem. An outburst of violence after huge student marches in Chile. Yeah, because uh, it, all over the world mm -hmm. is getting more and more violent. People are killing, being ki actually, uh, people were killed yesterday in one of the countries. They're burning buildings down, they're destroying property. They're getting more and more violent with every passing day that this stuff goes on. And a Monty bubble isn't from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. I always thought it was amazing how that uh, lawyers, when they're elected to public office and who should know better, always seem to be the first ones to violate the laws of the land. <laughs>